everybody to another episode of Subscribers Inspire Blooms for You. And to kickstart this episode, I'm going to dedicate my Dendrobium of Philum with a synonym Pirardii to all my subscribers not mentioned here in this episode. This one is not going to last very long, so I'm going to film it quickly, even though it will be out of bloom by the time this episode is aired. But still, when I look at it, when I water it, this one I think of all my subscribers and I dedicate this beautiful bloom show to you. I hope that you enjoy the choices I've made and enjoy the blooms that are coming up right now. This obviously is not a Miltoniopsis Jess, but it is my Leodoro Sweet Memory, my second plant. Yes, I have two. I was click happy, add to cart syndrome, all that stuff, and I got two. So this is the second one here. Now almost in full bloom with the buds that she has opened. There's two missing. But I think this is a perfect time to show you what I have decided is blooming in my collection for you this time of year. Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Thank you so much for your videos. I appreciate having you here and I appreciate hearing your comments and sharing our experiences. I hope that you like her. I can tell you that she smells absolutely divine. And uh, yep, she is in full Lekka in a self-watering setup. That is my preferred method and she's doing fabulously, as you can see here. And hopefully the wind is not messing up with the distortions now. But anyway, Jess T, I hope that you like her. I appreciate having you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So just to throw in a quick clip with my two sweet memories together, <laughs> it's quite a little show. I mean, each one of them is blooming profusely, but when you put them together, that is something else. So the left one was the one, or is the one, I dedicated to Lynn Brooks. So you see Lynn, they're all in bloom now and doing wonderfully. And then here on the right, Jess T, here's the one I just mentioned. That's for you. Yeah, these are cool. And it smells beautiful. This is my golden peacock in bloom once again. I would have missed it if it had been away too long. But this golden peacock spike blooms for Mircea Kostinwich. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. Mircea has been one of my subscribers from very, very early, even though my channel is not that old. He subscribed straight away, and I'm so thankful, Mircea, that you've done that. Because when I subscribed back, I discovered a channel that it helped me throughout the lockdown to go traveling and seeing all these beautiful, beautiful locations. Thank you very much for that escape. And I hope that you enjoy this bloom spike of my Procatavola golden peacock as she bounces around in the wind. Thank you so, so much for subscribing to me. Thank you so, so much for your videos. And I have Mircea's um, link of his channel down in the description. Thank you, Mircea. I appreciate it. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you on your next video. Michelle 
from the channel Michelle's Life on Repeat. Thank you so much for being a subscriber on my channel. I hope that you're doing well. I would like to dedicate the ninth bloom of my Cilogeny Lime Bay to you. So we've managed nine. There's a tenth bud already showing. But despite that, I think this will be the last bloom because she is at her prime right now. It might not look like it, but she is, I promise. But she's a little bit weaker than the ones before. So before she goes over, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for the inspiration that you give with your channel and how you deal with your challenges. It has inspired me. I appreciate it so much. And thank you for being my subscriber. I hope that you like this bloom. I think she's gorgeous. And for that reason, I dedicate her to you. So considering that this Vanda is called Dragonfire Lip, it's supposedly a cross between Lemolata and Cristata. I find it not quite fitting. I would prefer to call it Leopard Yawn. Because when you look at the spotting and that lip, I would say that looks more like a leopard yawning. And for that reason, this spike is dedicated to orchids and finbos down in South Africa. You are a very lucky person who can live on the continent that I call home. And I appreciate your videos very much. Your accent reminds me of home as well. There's a lot of things that I enjoy about your channel. So thank you very, very much. And I hope that you like this blooming of my leopard yawn, also known as dragon fire lip. So these are so tiny, I feel like I need to whisper next to them. But having said that, look at these tiny, tiny little blooms. One is perfect and the other, yeah, it's a bit deformed, but I will forgive it. Look at the tiny, tiny size of them. This is Phalaenopsis wilsonii and Esther's orchids. These are for you. I was inspired by all your Phalaenopsis blooms and I thought, oh, despite the fact that these are so tiny, I just thought, you know what? These are blooming for Esther. It's been quite, quite a challenge to keep them cool so that they don't blast. I lost one, but I think we made it. And I'm hoping that the camera is in focus because I can't see for all the sun back here. But she is so cute. Now the lip looks pink in the camera, but it is actually a mauve lavender. But can you see the spotting in there? Isn't that amazing? So Esther, thank you so much for your feedback still trying to find my way around the YouTube thing and how to get it right and your feedback is an inspiration and uh, it helps me so much and I appreciate the fact that you're helping me out in those regards. I hope that you like my little Phalaenopsis wilsonii because I think in this case size does matter. Thank you Esther. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in your next video. Oh, this is bright. Megan K, I want to show you what I was hoping to achieve and it didn't work out. 
I don't know if you can see that. I'm on my tiptoes. I had to position Epidendrum Parkinsonianum way high. Hello, wasp. You just got photobombed. And I had a blast. Not in a fun way, but I lost buds on my Epidendrum Parkinsonianum. And I had these allocated for you. What am I gonna do now? I wanna say thank you for being such an early bird subscriber. And instead of um, being able to dedicate these buds to you because they blasted, instead, I'm gonna dedicate these blooms to you because they made it. Look at that. This is my Epidendrum Parkinsonianum, Megan. And these ones made it and they are for you. I have been watching them so closely ever since they started to break forth. Having seen that the other ones didn't make it, I have been freaking out and I'm thinking, oh no, please. But here they are. And I hope you like them. I must say I am totally, totally in love with the shape of these blooms. I mean, the plant itself is awesome, but look at them. So Megan, thank you so much for your support and everything here on my channel and helping my friends who have questions when I'm not around or not replying fast enough. I really appreciate that. So I hope that you like these blooms as a thank you. They bloom for you. That was it for this episode. Blooms for you, dedicated to my subscribers. I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.